Hello, my name is Michelle and welcome back to my classroom. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I want to talk about Education First. Education First is an online ESL teaching company that I've been working with for the last uh, two months. Um, there aren't very many videos here on YouTube about Education First, so I really wanted to make this video to share with you my experiences thus far. Um, I made a list of pros and cons that I like to share, so let's get started. Let's start with the pros. It's always good to know the good stuff first. So stability. Education First has been around for um, 50 years. They have schools all across the globe. Um, some people refer to Education First as English First, uh, but English First is simply another one of the uh, divisions of Education First. Um, Education First has offered online ESL teaching classes for more than 20 years. Um, so I think that's pretty stable. Uh, the bookings. With Education First, they offer courses that run 20 weeks. So if you are booked, most parents like to book the same teacher for the entire 20-week course. Um, so with that being said, if you are booked and the parent seems to like your teaching style, you will teach that same student for the next 20 weeks. So that is pretty impressive. Uh, no pressure. So with many other online ESL teaching schools, you are required to finish the slides, which can be quite challenging when you have 37 slides to complete in 25 minutes. Considering all children learn differently, uh, it could be a bit of a challenge. But with Education First, you are not required to finish the slides. So there's no pressure there. With the platform, um, Education First provides teachers with a whiteboard which is very helpful when you want to take notes during class so that you can provide those, you can transfer those same notes into your evaluation at the end of class. Sometimes when you have classes back to back, you don't always remember those little things. So having a whiteboard in the actual classroom is very helpful. So those are the pros. Let's get to the cons. But before we do that, I want to show you my schedule for the next two weeks. So I open up my schedule from 4 a.m. to 7 a.m. And as you can see, I am almost completely booked. Classes start for me at 5 to 7 uh, for the next two weeks, and I am almost completely booked. So from 5 to 6 here, and from 5 to 7 almost all throughout the week, and the next week. So these are 20 week courses. So this is how my schedule looks for the next 20 weeks. Um, someone may uh, book another class and that will be added as well. So that is pretty exciting. So for the cons, the base pay. Education First offers all teachers $6.60 per 25 minute class. There are a few incentives if you teach during peak hours. I believe there's an additional $2.80 added to your base pay uh, if you teach during those peak hours, which is um, 4 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Uh, Beijing time would be 4 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. But for me, which is a 12-hour difference, it's 4 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. So the peak hours here aren't too bad. But uh, when daylight savings time ends, which is next month, next month, next month, this will be 3 a.m. to 7.30 a.m. Um, so getting up at maybe 2.30 to get ready for a 3, a 3 a.m. class is going to be team struggle. Um, so those are the cons. Um, I really have been enjoying working and teaching with Education First thus far. As I've said, the platform is very user-friendly for both the teacher and the students. Um, I actually like the curriculum. It's also very friendly, very um, very easy to, uh, to teach. Um, there aren't very many videos here on YouTube, so I hope that you found this video to be helpful. If you're looking to start your online ESL teaching journey, I do suggest that you research Education First for yourself and perhaps even apply. I don't think that you'll regret it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you found it to be helpful or if you simply enjoyed watching, please give me a like and I look forward to speaking with you in my next video. Happy teaching.